And it's been a hot minute, but we are back with another Ask Hammer segment on your Friday morning. Patrick, we have two questions for you today. Yes, Just and by two. the way, by the way, the end of the midday show, people are going to be, the segment will be enough hammer. Enough hammer. No more <laughs> Ask Hammer. No, this is a good question, though. Yeah. Says Patrick, this week we saw record breaking temperatures. What's going on? Yeah, so, what's, what's up with the 70s? All right, so Monday and Tuesday, we both should probably days, get out of the way so you can actually see this. Well, it's, it's, we got it. Um, <laughs> both days, record setting highs. Yeah. Okay, that, you know, warmth can happen in March. Right, like 2012. The, the 2012 yeah. is a good example. The spring season always is. A season of change. Then today we're going to be 62, still warm, but look at where we're going. Rain tomorrow, Ooh. snow Sunday. Yeah. So what's going on? It's just it's it's look at this. It's a it's a buffet yeah. of, of everything over the past five days and leading in that kind of five to seven day span. So what's going on? It's it's spring and it's normal. You can see big fluctuations. You're getting to use all of your icons. A good variety there, there. There was more I wanted to add, but I think this was enough for yeah. people. Because Saturday will offer a little bit of wind as well. Oh, okay. All right. Ready for question two? Yes, this is a good one. I think I've heard about this one. Okay. It's what we saw this week. Does this preview what we're going to see for the rest of the month? Good, yes. good question. So right now, next week is looking mild. Okay. We get this snow. It doesn't last. Okay, the snow and the cold will last like two days. I have a question about the snow. Is it going to stick to the ground or is the ground too warm? Ground's in warm. In the hills, will it stick a little? It will definitely stick and we'll have that forecast coming okay. up. But it's going to be uh, tough for the snow to accumulate initially because yeah. it was in the 70s. Okay. All right, starting St. Patrick's Day mm -hmm. and the following week, it's appearing that a cooler weather pattern will develop and an active storm track along the jet stream, Ooh. which means um, spring. We, this was maybe a, a fake spring that we had earlier. Yeah, you always see the meme. It's like first spring, fake sc spring. And this yeah. is what I think we had right. because the second half of March is trending cooler. So mm -hmm. this is what we think is going to happen. OK, in the long range this weekend, cool with rain and snow mm -hmm. next week. Mild again. Okay. Okay. St. Patrick's Day. I know. I know. The, 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 there's the parades, and yeah. a lot of people are going to be out and about. Right now, it appears can't be too specific. Cool and unsettled, and that kind of weather pattern will likely take us into the following week. Then it's already April. Then we're towards Easter. And Easter, by the way, is in March. Yeah. As you know. Isn't it March? 30, I think it's March, March 31st. 31st. Yep. Yeah. So kind of keep in your mind's eye if you've got St. Patrick's Day plans. Again, this is a week from Sunday, so it's a ways out yeah. there. But the charts are kind of leading in that direction. Excellent. All right. That's all the time we have. OK. We'll see if we do ask, ask Hammer again next Friday. <laughs> if it survives. Right, or enough Hammer. You're done. <laughs> next year at midday today.